We are recording. I'm opening up the stream. We're going to be... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm here with Dalmont, and I'm here to show off this new ship called the Peace Liner. Um, and terrify me with uh, new blocks. And we're doing it all in a dev build for the uh, point oh one five, or sorry, oh point one five. And, and Mobius chairs. And yes, Mobius chairs. So obviously we will be touring in our chairs as I fall out of my chair gracefully. Um, yeah. <laughs> there we go, I'm in gravity and we're back on the case. Right. Fantastic. The mo this ship has been a lot of fun. <clears throat> There's been a lot of work gone into it, but we're going to do the exterior last. So let's go inside. Because that's where all the new stuff is. First, you'll notice these new wedges. Okay. That's not a texture pack, folks. That's in this game. This is regular pixel. Yeah, regular pixel. And then you'll notice as well, I've put in the green and white here. And on the left-hand side, you'll see there's the wire mesh or the metal mesh. Okay. If we go to the front of the hangar, you'll see there's <clears throat> the metal grills. And because of the way of the split hull, you can see all the way around the ship from the floor, you know, from eye height, you know, because of the split hull. You can see underneath. Yeah. Oh, man. You can see underneath all the way down there. If we start to move up, you'll notice on the right hand side, we've got a number of new computer screens. Okay, and I'll put a couple of these in. Oh, those are all new decorative blocks? Yeah, what? there's a whole new set. Red, green, blue, uh, and orange, I think. I'm going to uh, start crying. <laughs> and also a computer screen that is rotatable. Personal computer, it says. Also, I've used here the new purple crystal. Um, and I've used that with a couple of different colours from the stuff we learned with the swatch to get some extra colours. Oh, sorry, mate. And, um, <clears throat> and then up top... I've actually put in a little viewing area. So if I just switch to build mode quickly, there we go. Um, you'll be able to see that I've got like an upper area that goes along the top. So when you've got your ships docked down there, you can just walk along here and, you know, inspect. See, oh yeah, things are good. And uh, we've also put a whole bunch of new computers in the top there. Okay. So we've got computers everywhere um, and massive hangar, lots of room. For, for anybody who's not uh, not aware or is curious, yes, I am foaming at the mouth. <laughs> also, at the end, we have a gravity elevator. When the areas are in again, we're going to put the area you'll walk into the into here. The gravity will flick you up. And then you walk through, you jump through this little gap, and it'll drop you down into gravity in the bridge. And in the bridge, I've used extensively... I'm going to open the door so we can get up there. Hang on. The door's back there. It's just above you. I, I have to say I'm really impressed with the use of color so far. Thanks, mate. It, my challenge with this build was to use all of the color. Um, if you fly directly upwards, you should be able to get up now. Nope. Yep. Yep. Oh. Less than graceful. There we go. Oh, 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 oh nice. Yeah, so we've got a sort of medical bay at the back. Oh, we have med computer. Why? Yeah, medical cabinet and medical. Uh, so they're decorative. Get a, but... get a close up on that medical computer. That is something else. I assume that eventually that will likely uh, involve player healing. I would hope so. And obviously I've used different lighting to achieve different colours with the striping. If you notice throughout here, the striping, I've sort of, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you notice, especially on my chair, look, it's like candy blue and pink, <laughs> you know, because of the lighting. I've got to say, man, I'm really impressed with the use of colour. It's not every day we see a ship that's rainbows. Rainbows, all, the, all out, full on. Yeah, I nah. really wanted to colourful. Colourful! We need more colour. So yeah, like I say, there's personal computers in the walls over here. I've actually used grey and uh, or a grey and brown hull 
um, cool. in addition to purple and black, and that sort of gives us the extra color range. But um, yeah, so this is my captain's chair. It's a turret dock with a Mobius chair. Um, we're both flying in the Mobius chairs right now. Uh, quite useful for getting around your ship, especially if you've got a large ship. So yeah, that's that's everything really. Obviously, you've got uh, you just drop down if you want to go back down, and uh, we have our emergency Mobius escape route just here. And uh, don't worry, there's plenty more, plenty more. Also, <laughs> hanging lights are now emissive. Ooh, yeah. how emissive? <clears throat> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. which is nice. Uh -oh. so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna head out. But they are, however, still not symmetrically um, viable, no. if you will. Now, the last thing I did today was the comm tower. Um, first thing I did was build the shape, obviously, um, and then I put this brown uh, sort of collar around it. And it's actually spaced away from the main structure, and then I put red lights on the inside. So it gives a sort of glow below and on the inside when you look at the angles. Um, I've also used another new block here, which is the Ice Crystal Wedge. So the Ice Crystal Wedges I've used there. What? Yeah, Ice Crystal Wedges. <laughs> Did I'm, I mention I'm that? I'm sorry. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna go. I have to go. <laughs> I have yeah. to go right now. <laughs> yeah, ice, ice Crystal Wedges are in. Um, and then obviously we come around, I've got this sort of submarine contour inspired, so it's got the big... Um, the big wingy bits on the side, and then it's, this is my aerial, dude. It's my second attempt at an aerial. It's like um, the mast up top here. But yeah, so that's that. And then I'm still uh, <coughs> having a bit of a seizure. He's still flight. having a seizure. He's just flying, <laughs> listing in the space like what? And uh, what I've done here is I've used a grey wedge and I've used the uh, mesh, you know, I've used the mesh as my sort of signal uh, junction, I guess, for the little radar probes, proby bits. And this ship is not completely symmetrical, as you see. <laughs> no, definitely not. Which is good. A little but tiny bit of asymmetry makes it, uh, just makes a little it fresh. Bit, just a little bit. Um, going down to the engines now. Obviously, the engines have got uh, inset hull in addition to crystal to give it a sort of chrome look. Um, and then the overall look is like a really quite a dirty plasma type engine. I don't know. Um, also, the fact that we did this extra layer of hull has really worked with the bottom because it gives that sort of skid pan underneath. Right, right. And I, I really like that. I've never done that before. And the struts make it look real nice when, you, when you're flying it anyway. It feels like you're flying a fighter or something, but then it's, it's not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um, it can be a meta fighter. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like I say, I've taken inspiration from some of a lot of grid runners detail on the shiitake shroom and a work in progress he had and then I sort of set it as a personal challenge to use all the color in as many different wedging tricks like I've seen over all the videos I've been on like especially right here in front of the engines wow dude where's that the uh, the diamonds in front of the engines that's fantastic on the intake oh 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 yes oh yes you want to see the front of course I think look. that's one of my favorite bits. This this thing These really bits does. here. Yeah. yeah. Those and then oh my god, you've done you've done mushrooms. Y yeah, I have. The 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 artwork is Have you considered uh doing wedges <laughs> on the top of the shroom? Um no, I did not actually. Uh cuz the problem it, was too much detail from far away. But whereabouts was that? The wedges, the mushrooms that go down the middle of the ice yeah. crystal. Yeah, I wanted them to be kind of 8-bit, you know, because from a distance you can still just about see. But it's, it's, a, it's very difficult, like, right? because if, if you take too much detail away, the light doesn't get through. Very true. Yeah, and, um, interesting... Speaking of, this thing looks incredible from far away. Yes. Yeah, I, thank you, mate, thank you. 
Um, it's just because there's so much going on. I mean, if I go in close, underneath you've got quite a detailed hole. And then I've put uh, what I'm calling a uh, negative shell. So it's taking your right, your, all of those negative space builds that you do, and then just do a complete shell. Um, and like if I was to go inside, you'd be able to see it just about. You can see there's a complete ship, de it's over detailed. Like the ship is way over detailed with way too much color and light. And then I've covered it all up and then I've removed everything in a, in a specific pattern which repeats down the entire ship. And with all the detail that's shown up, um, then you actually relight it from the inside of the shell. So if I like coming around here and take a look at the front of the shell. It, it turns it down without uh, turning it too much. Yeah, you can see I've, I've used green light. Well, you can see there's red for the bottom at the corners, green for the middle, and then blue near the actual ice crystal, which is of course really strong. And then the same pattern going back up. And uh, what that does is brings out, it gives you an extra color range. So it brings out the red, brings out the reds on the corners, the green actually changes the reds to yellows and greens and browns. Um, the green lighting, uh, sorry, the blue lighting really brings out the blue and offsets the red to almost a, a dull red. And then I have these green sections that randomly pull it back out again. So it gives you a real contrast of colors. Real depth to it. Mm. Um, and, um, <clears throat> and then obviously I've used this sort of weird inset trick where you just sort of go one wedge, two, one wedge, one wedge, two wedge, two wedge, you know, and you can inset that. And obviously there's a hell of a lot of, uh, there's way more detailing on the top surface, even though it is pretty much completely flat. Um, uh, you've done something else really interesting here. At the front, you've got this uh, kind of ice crystal cube uh, yes. with the four corners yes. off on it. That's you've, really interesting. You've, you've spotted my uh, turret dock. <laughs> oh. There's going to be a little turret dock to go here. There's only going to be two turrets on this ship, and they're not going to be very big. They are for the gnats. They are not for killing things. They're for when I can't be bothered. You know, therefore when I consider you too small and decide to let the turrets do the work, you know? Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I tried to do Just a bit of a, a trick there as well. The wings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could totally do that and they would, would look awesome. That's the thing. I would love to see. Actually, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a rainbow Midas. Oh, yes. Do it. Do it. I'll stick it on there. I've got plans for a fixed turret to go under the tail. You know where the con, the con tower is? Oh, yeah. There's a massive slot there, just waiting. I'm intending for uh, intending for the Midas to be a uh, either machine gun turret or perhaps a uh, missile turret, like a rapid fire yeah, missile yeah. turret. But like you say, that front entry, that, that front now entrance. Now a rapid fire EMP missile turret. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, what is it? The wings. The wingy bits. I call this the fractal wingy bit because... It's from the future. And it exploits all the colors. If you, are you, What you should do is start at the top and fly out and just show the transition of color as you get further away from the ship. Just blows the mind a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Colors... It's like five different colors in all of the wrong places, in all of the right ways. <laughs> oh, there we go. It starts to trip out a little bit if you get the angle just right. There we go. You get that parallax. Color explosions. <laughs> Parallel explosions. But yeah, like I say, I had a great time. Uh, what I've actually done here is I've used contrast with the green and the uh, purple. And then I've used a sort of descending and ascending triangular pattern of wedges to raise a layer up and then raise a layer down. And then I've put the light inside, but only in a certain spot. And then what you get is you get a glow that changes the colors. 
and like I say, you get access to a color range that you don't have normally. Also, I had a great time with the engine, uh, what I'd call heat sinks, I guess, on the sides. They're actually yellow and red lights. Oh, wow. But at a distance, you can barely tell. They kind of blend together. It's interesting. It actually does look like... Uh, it gives a sense of movement. Yep. Which I assume will be accentuated by an actual sense of movement at some point. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're going to be moving it for sure. Um, but like I say, I've got a, a cross... You just need to make this thing uh, disco. <laughs> there is a cam bot as well. There is a cam bot. Of course. Wouldn't be a ship without a cam bot. The cam bot is located directly below and above the, the ship. And there is also a crosshair. <laughs> My patented crosshair, which you can just zoom out and aim. <laughs> um, and now for the top. <laughs> the top section. Um, underneath is just a massive array of yellow hull. Uh, there's also red hull and, uh, sorry, red lights and green lights and blue lights to, again, trying to pull out colours, you know, in the, in the hull. And there is a hell of a lot of pattern in this, so I'm not going to go over it all, but there are hidden Ys and there are hidden mushrooms. So just, uh, if you, you can spot them if you look. Oh, Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and the colours change. See, look at that green yellow hole. Oh wait, what's that brown yellow hole? <laughs> I have a giant cam bot built into my comm tower as well. Which is lovely. That is absolutely majestic. And if you see underneath, purple crystal gives it a nice glow. <laughs> <laughs> the purple crystal. So, uh, like I say, down here we have uh, a few mushrooms, which you will see nicely. And uh, trademark mushrooms. Trademark mushrooms, exactly. These are the original meta shroom from uh, days of old. And what do we got? We got more hull detailing. This is these are the only fins that stick out. I did a couple of them, but uh, I thought it would be best to keep this flat, like an aircraft carrier. Um, <clears throat> sort of you know and then the bottom is the same um you will notice that the uh, another advantage oh, did i just what did i hit another advantage of the negative space is retrofitting so for example if we go underneath there's a great big yellow thing going all the way from end to end on this ship and it's just begging for damage beams so yeah, yes, it is. that's where the damage beams go. Like people say, oh, there's all this detail. Where are you going to put the guns? Well, the damage beams will go here and then an equal number of blocks of pulse, uh, damage pulses will go there. And then an equal number of, let's see, are we going to use punch through or piercing? I think probably piercing punch. will go yeah. here. Piercing or punch, yeah. We'll, we'll have to test it and see. And then that, that will give me a fairly large laser with I also have to good say, range, like a sniper. If you range. fly through the center of this thing. Oh yeah, we'll do that in build mode, yeah? Absolutely ridiculous. There is, of course, if anyone saw recently, I did a video on the 12 by, no, the 19 by 19 by 12 AMC shotgun. That's what sits behind this I Ching number 36. So, I'm going to head back to the other end of the ship. Look at it. Ah, color. I think I had mentioned earlier, this kind of looks like uh, Katamari had a baby with Battleship Yamato. Yeah, <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really do. It's good. It's good in that, in that respect. Those are two very incompatible things that you've gone and made absolutely majestic. Look at that. Wow. I, don't, I hadn't even done this. For, I haven't even done this yet. It looks so good. I wish that this was just some place you could hang out. <laughs> well, we might be hollowing it out to make a proper interior, you know? Uh, for, well, you know what? Uh, I, I would love... For I would absolutely love to be able to just see this. You just sit somewhere and then have this be all around me. So many cambots, so little time. I, Yelby's going to get a kick out of that. We've got oh, yeah. Yelbots all over the place. Can Yelby Cambots and they're snazzy. So yeah, like I say, this is the peace liner. 
Um, it's not by no means, by no means is it finished, but it's definitely getting there. And I wanted to do this update really just to sort of show people where it's at. Um, it's just as powerful as it was in the demo, so that doesn't that hasn't changed. It's a very effective ship. Only now it's uh, got a hell of a lot more character. And I'm going to go back inside my hangar. I've already got one Mobius chair up there, so... I'm just going to explore the interior in first person mode real quick, because... Yeah. Oh man. This is where we work out the design flaw, because it's made for a gravity elevator and I haven't put it in yet. Oh. No, it's all good. Look at that. Up we go. So whereabouts are you, bud? I have just started a beeline for the shop. Oh, right. Okay, cool, cool. In that case, I think I'd better uh, get myself to the ship's core. Oh, I never showed people the actual interior. Damn. Hang on. Oh, wow. There's um, another one. I forgot. Hang on. Build blocks look different now. Yes, they do. Um, Action I modules. <coughs> and them too, yeah. Everything looks meta. Hazard. Okay, here, let me read this off. Yellow hazard stripes. Um, green hazard stripes. Metal mesh. Metal grill. Ice crystal wedge. Medical supplies. Medical cabinet. Decorative screens. Red, blue, green, orange. Personal computer. Just throwing that out there. I know, right? There's so much more now. Yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff. I'm leaving my chair sideways in the hallway. Because I haven't got a dock for it here. Right, I needed to show people. I have... A taco S. <laughs> a taco S is here. Although I seem to be missing a few blocks, which is strange. I have to put them back. But yeah, basically, uh, this is a taco S enabled ship, and you'll be hearing more about that soon. Um, and yeah, this is the this is the course. So I think I'd better actually destroy this Mobius. There we go. Shut the airlock. Like I say, it's. Uh, it's interesting because when you, I might actually have to show. Have you seen this thing land on a planet yet? Not. Oh yes, the vertical. Vertical. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a trick. So you've got the main targeting gun, the, the, the sorry docking uh, control. You know, if I just show this, so that would be the docking camera. That would be the core. There's the underside camera. There's the main camera. The oh front. wow, we've got effect computers. And, and there we uh, go, Contour. Oh, wow. Oh, my doors are shut. Oh well, that's all right. Right, planet, go. I haven't tried landing it on a planet yet. Not in this build, so this will be interesting. 